Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Network Transmission. We're getting close to the end here. And one more Navi to go collect at the rematch, so let's do that. Time to deal with Shadow Man, who they actually put before Pharaoh Man, so we did all kinds of things out of order, apparently. <laughs> anyway, let's take care of the ninja. Still definitely one of my favorite Navis. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this a little more legitimately. Catching him on the downstroke like that seems to help a lot. Seems to be a workable strategy anyway. Len, you've got email. It's from Mail, Cyberworld Rumor. Len, have you heard of the secret room that's hidden in Den Area 3? They say there's an unbelievably powerful Navi hiding there. But according to the rumors, the entrance is closed up tight. Only a qualified Navi could get inside. Sounds suspicious. So indeed, it's time to go check that out. First things first, gonna go in the folder and make double jump my default chip again, because I'm gonna need that. Second order of business to do a second save. just in case things go wrong. And so, off we go. Through Mail's network, because that's the quickest way to get where we need to go. Okay, so let's just take double jump and... We'll leave the rest for now. <laughs> Leaving a few smaller zenny behind, but uh, that's really a more annoying path to take, that lower one. Mainly made so by the Ratons. So we've actually been where we need to go before, but we couldn't do anything. But now we can. Huh? Is the security cube responding to the Navi chips we have? Indeed it is. The security cube is opened up automatically. So nothing else passed here, let's just wait a moment for everything to refill. Let's see... This could possibly be a workable combo. Maybe take those... Okay. Yes, it's base. Little boy, how did you get in here? What? This surge. If I get any closer, it'll blow me away. Ugh, this is more than just a Navi. Careful, Mega Man. You scum. You defeated Zero? Now that's interesting. 
How powerful are you, worms? He's attacking. Mega Man battle routine set. Execute. So, being base, of course he has his life aura. You might notice that it does have a color, so it can be gotten rid of that way. But having the right element, of course, that's a bit of a tricky thing. He's also very quick to revive his aura. Also, attacks don't seem to damage him all that much. Whereas his will damage you quite a good bit. Fighting base legitimately is... kind of difficult, if at best. It all becomes real luck as to what aura he decides to put up and what chips you have available. I'm actually not sure the uh, actual damage limit you have to exceed to get rid of his aura either. Okay. So, how to do this? Well, we start ditching as many chips as we can, basically. Because it's very specific just what chips will actually work well on him. So, this little bout of getting rid of chips, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and chipmunk this. I mean, let's face it, it's that or sit through all this real time, and I don't think anyone really wants that. Heck, I don't even want that. We can see how well this works out, anyway. If nothing else, this will show the utter ridiculousness of how little damage things seem to do to base. Basically, the way to deal with him is to go with program advances. Now, the thing I was actually going for was Zeta Cannon. Believe it or not, Base is severely allergic to that. And if I don't end up showing it here, I will end up going back and refilming that. Because, uh, if nothing else, it's highly amusing. But this combination, I, I'm interested to see how well it'll actually work out. Because I know Proto Man can get the aura off of him, so I can at least hit him with a program advance. Yeah, even that didn't really seem to do too much. Kind of disturbing in a way. And unfortunately, I don't really seem to have anything else that I can use to get rid of his shield. Oh, huh, that's a thing. Well, proof of concept, I do have an attack of each element here. Okay, so yeah, it does actually get rid of his aura if you hit him with the proper attack. Or not. That should have worked, but apparently it didn't. Well, 
Well, then that's a thing. Have to hope I can get something better here. Unfortunately, the damage is not cumulative. Bugger, even that wasn't enough, really? I may have to go back to my original plan. Because obviously this is not working. Now see, when they give me a boss that cheap, I don't feel bad about cheesing things. I mean, seriously. Regrowing the aura that fast is just ridiculous. So, yeah, back to cheesing the system. In some ways, I hate having to resort to this, but in others, I, I really don't feel bad about it. They won't let me feel bad about it. So yeah, I'm probably just even going to completely cut this until I get the chips that I need. So, back after that. Okay, so they've given me what I'm after. So let's see if this works as well as I remember it working. Go ahead and do a quick MP recharge here. So I have to sit around waiting through attacks, I want to be able to use pop-up. Yep, it already wore off. I mean, seriously, how are you supposed to get through some of these attacks? I'm all for a tricky game, but this is where it kind of starts to feel like artificial difficulty, and that bothers me. Because I mean, even with a program advance, look how little of a dent I've put in him. Okay, cannon, high cannon, M cannon, insurance. Okay, so after a while, he actually does stop. How did you withstand my attack? Simply through cheesing the system, I admit it. Now I know why Zero lost to you. Interesting. I think I'll actually try this time. It's no good, Len. He's too powerful. Ugh. Nah, not this time. It won't be long until Judgment Day. You'd better be ready. Well, you know, I was last month, but it just didn't happen. And we get a Navi chip for base. Okay, yeah, I forgot you actually don't defeat him. Just doing enough damage to him finally gets him to stop, but... <sighs> That's a weird battle, it really is. Oh, we do get a base statue up there next to Zero. 
kind of interesting the two of those are positioned together because those are the only two Navi bosses that you cannot refight in the rematch area. Hence why I went ahead and did that extra save. So, if I ever feel like actually trying to do that without use of program advances, I do have a save file where I can go back to that, but, uh... Wow. How they expect you to just dodge some of that, I really have no idea. So, yeah, with that weirdness out of the way, it's time for me to go back to chip grinding against Shadow Man. I still need to get the rest of his chips, and then we can move on. So, back after that.